Alright, happy race day, Friday, March 25th, about 1.8 miles in, um, got to the top of Badger, on the way out, miles in, about an hour 13, came from Badger over there, gonna end up by the highway there, then across all the way out that way to the hills, so, so far so good, a little breeze up here now, um, but yeah, like I said, almost 6 miles in, 5.8, some 5.83, so, getting there little by little. Going into the culprit. Seven and a half miles in. Here we go. I'm just waiting for a clown to pop up in here. I know, it's so <laughs> trippy in here. With, her, with her, like the ribs on it, it's like dizzying almost. Yeah. Man, you got to do it twice, too. I know. Oh, you're gonna do it like at night, <laughs> night, night. Hopefully I'll have my big old leg working. Right. <laughs> Nothing like tumbleweed grabbing on your legs when you can't see. <laughs> Waiting for a little red balloon from the <laughs> clown from it, whatever his name is. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, Winkle. Yes. Yeah, good times. <laughs> Three quarters of miles in, 15.75. Uh, three hours, 23 minutes so far in the Jeep trails. Um, feeling okay. Uh, beautiful day, nice and cool. Sun's finally coming out a little bit. A couple folks up in front of me. It's been good so far. Saw some friends, got to chit chat and run with some. Kind of nice. Met some new people. It's all good, dude. It's all good. So, we're just gonna keep plugging away. Um, let's get to McBee. Let me uh, check the feet situation out and uh, go from there. So, but yeah, here we are on the Jeep trails. Just gotta watch out for these rocks. All right, 17 point. Three, five miles in. Um, close to Benton City. We're at Benton City right there. So, the little reroutes from Beth Candy and here at the Jeep Trails, they sucked. They were horrible. Uh, but, what do you do? You know what I mean? So, I've been out for three hours and 46 minutes. And, uh, yeah, just plugging away. Beautiful out. Definitely is. But, uh, whoo, taking a beating. Oh, yeah, good times. Heading up McBee. There's a aid station down there. We find that much. Glad we got to go. Uh, wish you guys could see how steep this really is. This thing is brutal. But we are. 19.4 miles in, uh, 4 hours 37 minutes and 4 seconds. So we're just plugging away, one step in front of the other, one mile at a time. All right, once again, there's our beautiful view. Twenty-three miles in, um, five hours 49 minutes. Right? So, we're hanging in there. We're hanging in there. Heading up to Chandler Butte up there. Up there. Aid station up there. Turn around. Head back down this way. Do some single track down McBee. And, uh, 
Yeah. And we keep going. One foot in front of the other. One mile at a time. All right, guys. It's beautiful out. If you're stuck at home, you can't see it. So, see you hey guys. Whew, 25 miles in. Uh, six hours, 22 minutes. So, we're just plugging along. Turn around to Sun Chandler Butte, so I'm halfway. And uh, it's just too hard to run on this stuff. So technical. And it's just gonna bust my knees and ankles. So, yeah. How you doing? Good, how's it going? Going good, thank you, sir. All right, so here we are. Um, gonna keep plugging along and go check in a bit, but take a look at that. Yeah. Nice job, guys. Thank you. All right. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Somebody just said it was 58 degrees. Just right. Sun is out a little bit. A little runnable, maybe. For a minute. Um, yeah, somebody said 58. That'll work. Just right. Uh, yeah, that's so hard to run on. I just don't want to hurt something. There's no point right now. So I'm just going to keep up a nice fast hike for now. Yeah. So, yeah. Over halfway in now. And, um, got to see and run with a lot of people that I know. First, I got to Run with Ryan, who I ran with during my first ultra, which was also his in 2019. We ran together for a few miles towards the finish at Badger, 55k. Got to run with Kyle for a couple miles. Uh, yeah, through the we ran the Endless Vineyards together, which was cool. And uh, once I got to Top of B, saw Joe. Got to meet Kyler. Got to got to hang with them for a bit. So, and then here and there, talk to so many people. I mean, we're all going through the same thing, right? So, but yeah, good times. All right, we'll check in later. The track. Look at that view. Amazing. Whew. Yeah. But. Ooh, on tired legs, yikes. So, 28 and a quarter miles in. Uh, seven hours, 15 minutes. So, doing all right. We're hanging in there. Who knew 50 miles was such a long way, huh? Right. All right, guys. 43 and a quarter miles in. 12 hours, 10 minutes. Look at that. Unbelievable. But... We're climbing up Candy, the backside, which is tough after 43 miles. It is steep. It is surprisingly tough that people don't think about. And it's starting to get windy and dark. So let's get to the top. I'm gonna probably pull a jacket on, get my headlamp out. One more descent of Candy. Up Badger, down Badger. So, seven miles or so to go. Hi. Right. All 
Alright guys, it's been a week since Badger, since the 50 miler, and uh, it was a good race, it was definitely fun, um, 14 09 and 35 seconds or so, something like that, and uh, 9 minutes faster than last year, so I'm happy about that, um, considering there were a couple of reroutes and made it a little bit longer than last year, so... A few minutes faster, half a mile longer, somewhere between half a mile and a mile, it seemed longer, so it was good, it was good. Um, my Strava showed over 8,800 feet of elevation, 8,870, no, 88, close to 8,890, close to 8,900, so it was good, it was good work. Um, it was a good, great event, as usual. Jason, thank you so much for putting on a, an awesome event. You, the board, all the volunteers. Man, couldn't have done it without you guys. And uh, you guys definitely kept the spirits up. Always happy to talk. And a little motivation. And man, the food at the aid stations. Everything you needed was there. So it was cool. It was good. Still the best uh, quesadillas in the world, especially when you're so hungry. Uh, and, uh, but yeah, thank you so much. Um, Jason, you still suck because those freaking reroutes were horrible. Oh my gosh. Those things hurt. It hurt enough. You know, we talked about the Jeep trails, that was enough, but man, those reroutes, just those little bits, just, they're brutal. It was good to see some other people out there. I ran with Kyle for a couple miles, which was good. Haven't ran with him since like last year at Badger, I think. Um, at the 50 mile last year, we ran the first few miles together. That was the last time I think we ran together. So it was good to see you. Joe, good to see you at the top of my beat, run a couple miles with you. Good to meet Kyler with you. That was great. Um, and just everybody, you know, I saw everybody out there. Good to see Lance again. Didn't recognize him without the beard. Um, then yeah, Dora, you kicked butt. I mean, there were so many people out there. It was great. You know, it was great to see everybody. Everybody in good spirits. Um, you know, so congratulations to everybody who finished and didn't finish. But guess what? You guys went out there and you plugged away, and you guys still gave it your best. And you guys are rock stars no matter what. Thanks to Steve for joining me the last 20 miles. Um, man, that 20 miles with you helped quite a bit. A lot of chit-chatting, a lot of laughing. Kept the spirits up, kept us moving. That was good. Um, I think I had to stop a couple times on the way up uh, at the Jeep trails. Um, but other than that, I think we kept plugging away. Other than those couple stops and maybe one up the backside of Candy, we just kept moving. Um, I'm surprised we plugged up the backside of the Badger, you know, I mean, we power ranked that thing pretty well the whole time, so it was good. So thank you for being there. Um, it, it was awesome. It was a great experience. You know, congrats on getting 20 miles, because your most before that was 13, or 13.1, you know, which is a, still a great feat, but I mean, you just added seven, seven miles to it, so thank you. Of course, thanks to the family, the wife of the family, for uh, putting up with all my training. Early, late, long runs, short runs, you know, thanks for putting up with that. So, all right. Well, now we just keep plugging along. You know, now it's weird because now I get to run for fun and not, not without anything specific. So, I actually just got back from Badger on the way back from Badger running a few. But anyhow, we'll keep you guys posted on what's going on and we'll try to keep posting videos regularly just for fun. It keeps me in check and reminds me what I've done and what I'm doing. So, all right guys, take care. We'll see you soon.